Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video. And welcome back. Now, in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing this naturally pretty makeup look. I use the term natural very loosely in this video because of my flyaway thick lashes. You know, I just got a fresh fill today. So it's not giving very natural, but if you're talking face wise, it's giving natural. So. I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this naturally pretty makeup look. And I know you guys are gonna ask because I did do this over on my TikTok and so many of you guys had questions. I also showed it on my Instagram and I figured I'd just bring it over to YouTube. So many of you guys had questions about my hair. So I am partnering with Jolie She in today's video. So I wanna thank them for partnering with me in today's video. This is their 24 inch curly wig. I have the 13 by six parting space. So it definitely does have the deep parting space. I'm not wearing a part today because I just kind of put this, I just put this scarf with this like print on it. I folded it a few times and tied it around. It just pairs nicely with the turtleneck and my earrings. I feel like it just looks so luxe and so pretty. So I just pulled it back, put the scarf on, and here we are. Like I said, this is their 24 inch curly wig. The curls are super fluffy. All I did was spray it down with water, let it air dry, and this is what we're working with. Just so fluffy. Just nice and fluffy. <laughs> makes my face look a lot more round I feel like because I have this turtleneck but whatever anyway I will have all of the details about the hair as well as the products that I'm using in today's video down in the description box down below so be sure to check that out this look that we're gonna do today is very quick simple straight to the point pretty much everything that I'm using I've already used before but like I said I did this over on my Instagram and my TikTok, and so many people had questions and I know a lot of you saw me on your for you page on TikTok. So hey girl, if you're here from TikTok. So I knew that a lot of people had questions, so I figured I'd do a little more of an in-depth video showing you guys exactly what I do to look naturally pretty. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video to help to increase its reach. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and comment down below as you're watching, letting me know your thoughts on today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, so first I'm going to put my earrings on because earrings just add the perfect something to your face or your look or your overall look. So I'm going to put my earrings on and I don't even know if you can even see them. My earrings are from K by Karuchi. I've had them for a while, so if they're still available, then I will link them down below. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this look. Everything that I'm gonna use, I'm pretty sure I've used on my channel before, but this is just to show you guys how to look quote unquote naturally pretty, which is just very similar to my previous uh, videos of no makeup makeup, even though my lashes i just got a fresh fill today there is absolutely nothing natural about <laughs> my lashes but hear me out first i'm gonna use the jlo beauty um that star filter mixed with the elf moisturizer this is the hydro gel moisturizer again like i said i've done this on my channel before i even did this on my tiktok which is actually what inspired me to do this look because everyone on tiktok was like what did you use? What products are you using? How did you do that? And I'm like, I might as well just do it on my YouTube. So here we go. So I just mix the two together. This is pretty much going to take the place of my foundation. I'm not going to use any foundation. So I do want to say that for this look, you do not need to have perfect skin or anything like that. I know a lot of people commented on like my previous videos um, when I did like natural makeup looks or no makeup makeup looks and they say first, you know, rule number one, have perfect skin. That is absolutely not true. I do not have perfect skin. I'm not going to say that I have like acne or blemished skin or anything like that, but 
I do not have perfect skin. I am using a camera that films in 4K as well as, oh my God, I'm getting shit on my sweater. Um, and I'm using studio lights. So it does make me look a bit more polished and clean than I probably will, would appear in person, but I do not have perfect skin at all. So I just want to put that out there. If you are not 100% comfortable with, you know, the way that your skin is looking right now, as I do know, we all have those days when our skin just is not doing what we want it to do, feel free to use foundation or use your favorite concealer or just sort of spot correct. I would recommend spot correcting if you do have blemishes and you want to cover them up. I personally don't, I don't mind them appearing on days when I'm trying to look naturally pretty because realistically no one has perfect skin. I mean, we all know the difference between social media and reality. No matter how people try to make things appear on social media, no one's perfect. No one's skin is perfect. We all go through you know, breakouts and pimples, zits, blemishes, blackheads, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation. I mean, the whole nine. So just want to put that out there. If you feel like you're not 100% confident in what your skin is looking like right now, I completely understand. Feel free to spot correct. All right, so moving on, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Brow Stick. I've been loving this. I've been using it every day since I got it just because I really like the way that it holds my brows in place sometimes i don't even fill my brows in because i just like the way that it looks with my brows brushed up so i just take and rub the wax stick all the way through my eyebrows and then the other end has a brush so i'm just gonna brush through them brush them up Now I'm going to take the Huda Beauty brow pencil. I use this all the time as well. And I'm just going to create hair like strokes. This brow pencil is very thin. So it really does give you that natural hair like stroke look <laughs> that I'm trying to go for today. So I'm just going to go up or just brush upward. And I'm going to do this until I get my desired shape keep in mind i do want to keep this very natural just to look like i got my eyebrows done and just brush the product through Uh, brushing my eyebrows upward so now I'm gonna brighten up underneath my eyes I'm using the Fenty Beauty eye brightener last time that I used this I paired it with a concealer and I actually really do like it on its own so I'm gonna show you guys how well this works just by itself I am gonna set it but still on its own it's a vibe so i'm gonna blend it out with my sonia kashuk sponge what i really do like about this is the fact that it blends right into the skin and it just looks like you have or like you don't have any under eye darkness i always say when i get my lashes done the shadow from my lashes makes my under eyes look dark so just doing this helps to brighten that area up so i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna blend that in bring it up a little bit into the inner corner it helps to brighten up the eyes a little bit more as you guys can see i just applied a little bit underneath my eyes and it really really does help to brighten them up 
to set that underneath my eyes i'm going to use the setting powder that i have over here this is the max studio fix powder in the shade nc55 i'm just gonna take the same sponge i'm just gonna dab in it a little bit and use that to set and you can do this by using any face powder just take whatever is left on the sponge and I'm just gonna go around the rest of my face pretty much press in the product that I used all over the JLo and the moisturizer I've been really obsessing over this blush this is the Fenty Beauty peach face blush and I really like this one you guys know I like cream blushes but I like this one because it's very subtle so I'm gonna apply it, let's move it upward just a little bit. I'm gonna apply it like here. Just to give me sort of like a flushed look. You can skip this step, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna apply bronzer because I love bronzer. It's one of my favorite makeup products. And plus I wanna blend my lace. Remember, we said natural. I wanna blend the lace in a little bit. So I'm gonna take a face powder brush and just go over my face and bronze just a little bit. And now for the final step. I don't know if I told you guys about this on my channel, but I definitely mentioned it on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over there. It is at I am Shelly. I'll show it on the screen. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, because I've been posting more on my TikTok, it is at I am Shelly with two Y's. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the flavor Berry. And I really love, you guys, I love this. I've been using it every single day since I got it. It smells so good. And I just love the way that it moisturizes my lips. I don't know which one of you guys told me about this, but thanks, girl. Because I'm now obsessed. I love the fact that it has like a slight pink tint. And it just looks, it just looks so good. It's so naturally pretty. Alright you guys, so that completes the final look. I told you guys it was going to be quick, easy, and straight to the point. <laughs> and that's exactly what this is. Super simple, super easy, and just natural. Not really, but you get the point. Anyway, again, I want to thank Jerly Shade for partnering with me in today's video. This is their 24 inch curly wig. It does have the 13 by 4 parting space. This might be my new favorite curly like natural hair color curly wig this wig is super luxe i've had it on for about a week and it's just super soft i love that the curls are so like fluffy curly hair is one of my favorites my natural hair is curly so <laughs> but you know in the winter time wigs are just like they're like my hat you know what i mean i've been enjoying playing with different textures and colors and all of the things i feel like curly hair is super low maintenance and easy and so is this makeup look so they kind of go hand in hand i will have all of the details about the hair the products used listed and linked down in the description box down below so be sure to check that out make sure that you do like this video it does help to increase its reach subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads leave me some comments down in the comment section below letting me know your thoughts on the video and i will catch you guys in the next one Bye.